Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and you guys can see in the top right of this video, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have signed Indomitian Sue to a one-year deal estimated to be worth around $10 million. So without further ado, guys, let's talk about it. First thing I want to mention is I'm sorry that this video took so long to come out. I know that the news broke way earlier in the day. I was working from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. at your local Publix where shopping is a pleasure, so I apologize for that. I wanted to wait until I got home to get my proper setup and whatnot so I didn't make just some slapdash video with a bad thumbnail and everything, which is why I waited so long to make the video until I got home from work. So again, my apologies for that. Second thing I want to mention is I'm cursed because obviously Obviously, in a previous video, I mentioned how I did not think that the Buccaneers would sign a guy like Ndamukong Sue because he was going to be worth a little bit too much money. So, of course, the Buccaneers went out and signed Ndamukong Sue. I'm cursed. I really don't know what else to say at this point. Well, on that being said, guys, let's talk about Indomitian Sue. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is the financial side of things and the financials of this signing because I'm going to be very interested to see how much this contract is worth. I've heard a lot of numbers. I've heard one year $8 million. I've heard one year $10 million. I've heard as much as one year $13 million. Now, depending on how much Sue gets is going to be a very, very, very key component to um, this whole situation, in my opinion, because one of the big reasons that fans wanted Gerald McCoy gone from this team was he was costing them too much money. So if a guy like Ndamukong Sue signs for very similar money, I'm kind of scratching my head as to what was the point of getting rid of McCoy because if it's a $3 million difference or if it's a no amount of difference, let's say Sue does sign for $13 million, then I think that a lot of people have good reason to be a little bit confused about this kind of move um, because you still don't have any cap space. You didn't save any money in this type of move. So that's going to be the first thing that I'm going to be very interested to see the details of. I do want to say that Ndamukong Sue is a phenomenally good defensive tackle. He's a very, very strong and a very, very solid run stopper who does have some very good pass rushing abilities as well. And I've seen a lot of people talk in the comments section of my previous video about the missing piece and whatnot. And even in the video talking about Gerald McCoy's release, that if there was anybody who could replace a guy like Gerald McCoy, it would be Ndamukong Sue. And fair credit, they were both taken in the 2010 NFL Draft. Sue is, I believe, a year old. He is a little bit older than McCoy, um, and he does have a little bit of a different skill set, whereas McCoy wins with speed um, and a little bit of power. Sue has a lot of power. Now, obviously, I believe that McCoy is a little bit of a better pass rusher, but Sue is definitely uh, you know, a very good run stopper, in my opinion. So I'm going to be very interested to see the different types of dynamics. Sue has played in a 3-4 defense before, um, so it is going to be really, really interesting to see uh, what Sue brings to this team as a defensive tackle in terms of the run game and the pass rushing game as well. There are still some concerns. Now, let me preface by saying I know a lot of Bucks fans have wanted a player like Ndamukong Sue for a very long time, and a lot of you have gotten your wish now. I don't discredit you or, you know, fault you for, you know, wanting a player like Ndamukong Sue. The idea of having a, you know, rough and tough, you know, really big, I don't want to say bullyish, but having a, like, big, you know, get-in-your-face type of guy is appealing, and I completely understand the appeal to that, but I've definitely seen and heard a lot of the horror story reports whatnot about how Sue, he steps on people's ankles, he'll kick your leg after the play, he'll kick your helmet off after the play, and all that kind of stuff. Well, that stuff draws fines, and that stuff draws penalties, so I'm going to be very interested to see what happens with Sue, especially with this coaching staff, where B.A. and Todd Bull you would assume they're going to have a low tolerance for that kind of stuff that is um, putting the team in bad situations. I believe McCoy was, or, sorry, Sue was one of the more penalized defensive tackles last year. So I'm going to be very interested to see what happens in terms of his overall kind of demeanor on the field after plays and whatnot. Is he going to continue to keep that demeanor? Is B.A., Todd Bowles, and the rest of the Bucks coaching staff going to have that toned down a little bit? That's going to be something to keep a very sharp eye on. Another thing that's going to be really interesting to see is how Sue gels into the locker room and how he works with this coaching staff. I'm not as concerned with the coaching staff, although I have seen the reports that Sue can sometimes be tough to work with for certain coaches, but the locker room is something I'm going to be a lot more interested in because, again, I've seen the reports that Sue can sometimes be a little bit of a tough teammate to work with. Uh, there is one benefit as he was college teammates with Levante David. They both went to uh, college together and played together. That's going to be a really, really big positive 
considering the type of leader that Levante David is in that locker room. So I'm going to be very curious to see if Sue emerges as a leader or not. That's going to be, again, another thing to keep a close eye on 100%. Because again, you know, that's, that's important. You got to have good team chemistry. And I think that Sue can really go either way at this point. Final thing that I'm going to be keeping a close eye on is how much is Sue going to be playing at 100% throughout the entirety of the season. Now, I understand Sue's a professional, and yes, he is going to go out there and he is going to play. But again, you know, reports have been out there, especially last year with the Los Angeles Rams, that Sue wasn't necessarily playing 100% throughout the entire regular season for the Los Angeles Rams. He was kind of saving himself for the playoffs, and then he was playing very well in the playoffs, which is good, but the Buccaneers are a team right now where they need every single player to be 100% invested in what's going on all the time. Absolutely, you know, and I think that that's going to be very important to the success of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers right now. So I think if there's any coach who could get the most out of Sue, it's going to be Bruce Arians and it's going to be Todd Bowles. Um, actually, it was reported earlier today that one of the reasons that Sue decided to come to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers was that he was interested in working with Todd Bowles. So I really am going to be interested to see how much BA and how much Todd Bowles are going to be able to get out of Sue in terms of his overall playing percentage. I do think that Sue is going to be playing at 100% throughout the season for the Buccaneers, which is going to be a good thing because if Sue is playing at 100%, he's a very, very good defensive tackle. It just all depends on how much Sue wants to put himself out there on the field. So I'm I think it's going to work out, but again, that's another thing that we need to keep an eye on. Again, I'm fine with this signing. I think that, you know, if there's anybody who could replace McCoy, it's Sue. So, you know, there you have it. It's going to be really interesting to see how things work out. Vita Vea, Sue, that's going to be a pretty deadly combination for the defensive tackle position. What do you guys think about this move? Let me know down in the comments section below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, hope you guys all enjoyed, and until the next video or the next live stream, I will see you in the next video or the next live stream, but until then, and as always, Goodbye for now, guys, and go Bucks.